Uh, for a while, uh, believe it or not, I was kind of known as a bit of an erotic poet. <laughs> and uh, I was invited to read at various erotic poetry festivals, in, in which I read uh, The Sex Lives of Vegetables and a series of poems I've written about penises and you know, one about breasts and blah, blah, blah. And then I discovered the last few years that when I was invited to read at some fundraiser erotic poetry festivals in Victoria, I was just reading the same old poems. I wasn't uh, writing new ones. And I thought, well, what's that all about, you know? So that's where this poem comes from. Also from thinking about Evan Bull and the wonderful Irish poet. Her line, she said, I want to write a poem that I can grow old in. So this one's called My Last Erotic Poem. Once again, thank you so much for being here. I'm the last reader, and I know I'm thanking um, you on behalf of my fellow readers. And thanks so much to all of me for organizing this and for Hattie and everyone else. My Last Erotic Poem. Who wants to hear about two old farts getting it on in the back seat of a Buick, in the garden shed among vermiculite, in the kitchen? where we should be drinking Ovaltine and saying no. Who wants to hear about 26 years of screwing, our once not unattractive flesh, now loose as unbaked pizza dough, hanging between two hands before it's tossed? Who wants to hear about two old lovers slapping together like a water hitting mud, hair where there shouldn't be, and little where there should, my bunion foot sliding up your bony calf, your calloused hands sinking in the quick slide of my belly, our faithless bums crepitous collapsed. We have to wear our glasses to see down there. When you whisper what you want, I can't hear. But do it anyway. And somehow get it right. Face it, some nights we'd rather eat a Hagen dazs ice cream bar or watch a movie starring Nick Nolte, who looks worse than us. <laughs> Some nights, we'd rather stroke the cats. <laughs> who wants to know when we get it going, we're revved up, like the first time, honest, like the first time, if only we could remember it, our old bodies doing what you know bodies do, worn and beautiful and shameless. <laughs>